happen. All right, everybody, welcome to the Senior Solutions Friday Agency Call. Appreciate everybody taking the time to hop on. We're going to dig right into it. Uh, you got your host on today. I'm Joe Johnson, uh, Jimmy Hernandez from San Antonio, Texas. And uh, man, we're going to get right into it. This is a continuation. This is part three of Top Agent. So um, if you didn't catch the first two, definitely go back and and uh, and check them out. We just have a couple of real quick announcements uh, before we get started. Um, obviously, Sunday is May 9th is Mother's Day. So just if you forgot uh, that this is Mother's Day, today's only Friday. So you still have got a couple of days to to get ready and, and get the the special moms that are in your life. Make sure you don't forget them because let's face it, without our moms, no one would be here. And we really have to cherish our mothers and our wives and everything that they do. I mean, women are truly unique and certainly a blessing from God. So take care of your mother, take care of your wife, uh, shower them with gifts and love and flowers and and really make the day special because it will, I'll just tell you, it'll go a, it'll go a long, long way. Um, FEX Toolkit, if you're not signed up for FEX Toolkit, uh, get signed up for it. It's a great tool, whether you're using it on a tablet, your laptop, or even your mobile device. I can tell you this personally, I have a I have a much greater appreciation for FEX Toolkit because the last couple of days I've been out running some appointments myself. I had some leads that I had purchased, uh, I don't know, a while, a while back, um, I, probably five, four, four or five months ago. I just never had time to run them, so I'm going out and running production and and uh, have been out the last couple of days earlier this week. And man, just, you know, I always considered myself a pretty good field underwriter. But man, this thing is just like so cool. And I'm just going to give you just a real quick. Um, so if you're not signed up, get signed up. It's $114 for the year. But if you're new, you don't have it, you do get a free trial. We're giving everybody just FYI, 20, at least a 21 day free trial. I know I've had some people that have been signed up on it for, for a month and I haven't uh, invoiced them yet. So if you're interested, if you're if you're an active agent, uh, this is for active agents only, um, let me know and we'll get you signed up, we'll get you your credentials. But just to give you an example, I took a couple of screenshots. Um, hopefully you can see this. If you look at the one, this is the what the kind of the mobile app works or how it works. Let me just get uh, let me get a highlighter real quick. Didn't have time to really put this in the order that I wanted to, but I think it'll be good. This when you when you first open up your mobile app, I'm going to just put a little uh, an arrow here. This is the first screen that you see. So you see you've got where it says uh, quoter underwriter that's like the full version where you put in their date of birth height weight medications that sort of thing uh if you just run a you know if you know the client is like super healthy um they're on no medications and you just want to see who's the cheapest you can use the light quote that doesn't do any underwriting for you and then the comparison is really when you've narrowed it down to one specific carrier you can do your three option worksheet and then there's a health cheat sheet, uh, also a drug lookup, and then you can push it to your CRM. I kind of like the, the um, instead of using the, just me personally, instead of using the health cheat sheet or the drug lookup, I kind of like just using the, the full quoter because it's those two combined together. You don't have to toggle in before. You can either put in, you can put a combination of medications and health issues, and it'll tell you the right carrier. So that's the, the home screen. So in this situation, I'm gonna do a full quote. So once you once you click right here, it's gonna take you to this screen. And then I can put in, I just put in a face amount of $10,000, left the premium blank. I'm looking, I initially just put in level coverage. Always start with level coverage. And I guess unless you know for sure, like their guaranteed issue, 
Um, but always start with level coverage because once you put in the medications, if they don't qualify for level coverage, it's going to tell you anyway. So type in uh, level coverage. In this situation, I've got a, a male resident state. We have the default as Texas. Just change that to your state. That's important to put in your state because not all products are available in all states. I've got a um, someone who was born 6'6 six, six of 1960, so they're 60 years old, 5'9", uh, 250 pounds, non-tobacco. Then um, once you hit enter, it's going to take you to the underwriting screen. So I had a client with um, COPD, pulmonary, uh, chronic obstruction pulmonary disease, COPD, and they were using an inhaler. So I answered yes to that. And they also had diabetes, but with no uh, complications. It was well controlled without insulin. And then I clicked right here, get a quote. And you can see it pops up my carriers. It ranks them. Uh, I've got uh, Transamerica, Liberty Bankers, CVS Health. And you can see they all. these are all companies that are going to offer this person same-day coverage, mainly because of the COPD. Uh, so here we've got, yeah, Tra Transamerica, Liberty Bankers, CVS, Forrester's is now standard as well. And then it, then it starts getting into the graded companies, Mutual of Omaha, Prosperity, and it ranks them in order of who's the most competitive to the least competitive. Then you just choose, basically choose the carrier that you want to do business with. You can do your, your three option worksheet. So I just thought I'd just take some screenshots. This is right off of my cell phone. So if you're using the mobile app, and that's what I would, if you're going to use your mobile device, definitely go to the app store, download the app, and then put in your credentials. It The, the app on your phone works a lot better than using the 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 regular link that's designed for a for a laptop but jimmy i know you've been using it as well man i mean don't you um i mean so far what you've seen what what are give me your some some negative or positive feedback on what you think about fex toolkit joe i i love it oh my god it's it just makes things so so much easier and talk about building credibility with your client <clears throat> i can tell you this you know like for for new agents the biggest area i guess you can say of improvement that they need is credibility because new agents kind of stumble through not only their, through their verbiage but they kind of stumble through their applications they're they're unsure right uh, like they're trying to figure it out this this takes all that away you can just be a professional just ask the health questions and 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 you know if they see you typing this information in uh either to your phone or maybe a tablet and you're collecting information and it spits it back and booyah you show it to them man it's it's instant credibility i mean it it, it takes away that objection if you will with a customer and um, I, I just love it because it takes all the guesswork out and, and it saves you a ton of time instead of you having to try to figure it out and, you know, look through all the different applications or look at a cheat sheet or have to call somebody to try to, get, you know, get an answer. You plug it in, in here and you got an instant decision. Well, not an instant decision, but you got an instant uh, path to go that you know it's going to be right. So, yeah. The, the other thing, too, I just recommend is once you get it downloaded, um, I mean, there's a ton of carriers guys you can um you can customize this so right here when you first log in where i forgot to mention this where it says the the customizable options you can go in here and you can customize your own app so it really only shows the carriers you want to show so maybe just hypothetically maybe you don't want to do business with transamerica you can delete transamerica maybe or in what I would recommend is probably, you know, opting out, disabling the carriers that you're not contracted with. Only have it so it's going to show that because you don't want some, you know, carrier that you don't even do business with uh, popping up on the on the screen. So each individual agent can customize it because uh, it's going to show every carrier that Senior Solutions is contracted with. Um, you may not have all. 25 carriers 
uh, you probably don't have all carriers uh, input it, uh, which is which is great. So customize it. Uh, a couple other yes. And then, and then like let's say you land on one, you say okay, yeah, you know this uh, Security National Life looks good. You hit the e app button, right? And it takes you straight to your login and you're submitting the app. I mean, man, I'm yeah. I'm telling you, it's really slick. You spend money, guys. Learn how to spend money and invest in yourself. Go buy yourself a tablet, you know, and, and get a tablet that has its own internet, right? I know you can use a hotspot to save money, but don't go cheap. Something always goes wrong in the house. You don't be feeling with that stuff. Just suck it up, pay the extra 10 bucks a month, get the tablet that has the internet on it, and booyah, I mean, you're in yep. business. And every carrier, whether you have Verizon, T-Mobile, whoever, they all have you go to the store dude you can sign up on a monthly you can just add it to your phone your existing phone bill and yep. um you know like i said I, that's a that's a great idea man uh it's just a great tool so if, if you're not using it you're missing out um new agent starter kit if you need to order your starter kit or a refill up on folders let me know um as you guys know, we did redesign the folder. We added in some new carriers. Since we're selling, uh, we seem to be selling a lot more, a variety of products, like a lot of term and IULs and GULEs and um, the new folders, it does no longer says peace of mind, whole life insurance. It just says peace of mind, life insurance. Um, and then also for the month of May, between now and the end of May, uh, anybody that orders um, supplies, we're going to take 20% uh, off of your order. So an example, if you order 50 folders, I did the math on it, even with shipping, which is 16 bucks, uh, it comes out to like $54 for 50 folders. So it's like a dollar and less than one penny per folder. So basically a dollar, 54 bucks for a shipment of uh, 50. You can order more. Um, obviously, but take advantage. I got a ton. The reason why I'm doing this, man, I got a, a huge shipment of folders. We just got in a thousand folders. I want to get them out. So, you know, order them, save some money. Um, with that, we're going to get into part three. This is a, we're going to, this is the continuation of the, um, of, of the series that we've been doing. Top agent, part one, part two, part three. Man, if you did not listen or did you not have a chance to uh listen live to the call last week man i would highly recommend go back listen to the call it was really really incredible we had an incredible guy on um gerard shared his story it was very inspirational i mean he motivated me uh for sure and i got a lot of great positive feedback uh on the call that we had and if you're watching this as a as a replay, if you're not already subscribed to the Senior Solutions channel, please subscribe to the channel. I, I just I promise you, I think you'll really get a lot of value out of it going back and watching all the content. We put out new content uh, pretty much every single uh, every single week. But just as a recap, last week what we talked about and what Gerard was talking about is investing in your business. And we talked about the three things that you really need to do in your business is invest. It's going to take time, money, and energy to be able to run a successful business. And that's the one thing that you'll constantly hear, not only myself and Jimmy, but also top producers, they always refer to this as their business, their business. And I think that's the one thing, Jimmy, that I mean, we all need to do is really internalize this. And I think once, you, once you've internalized it, and you do take ownership of this thing and you say you know what this is a business man for a lot of you that's really going to turn the tables it really for me you know going back to 2009 probably 2000 probably 2000 i got in the business in 2009 i think it was probably 2010 where i really started getting some traction and really figured out, you know what, this is my business. And if it's gonna be, you know, if it's gonna be successful, it's gonna be up to me. And really started taking accountability for my business, 
uh, either for the success or or the lack of success. And for a lot of us, that's what's going to turn things around. But today, so that was kind of the recap. Today, what we're going to be talking about is really some of the basics. And I think for everybody is just keeping it simple. You know, the old the old acronym KISS, keep it simple, stupid, really does apply. And I, and I think, Jimmy, I, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I, I know I'm guilty of this is that I, I'm famous for overcomplicating things. And I, I, you know, I, I just think to myself is that, man, just keep it simple, man. Just keep, you know, get back to the basics. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today is just kind of part three is really getting back to the basics. Don't overcomplicate this thing is because when you start overcomplicating things and you, and you try to make things perfect, trying to make things perfect leads to procrastination and procrastination leads to you doing nothing uh leads to doing non producing activity or non income it 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 it's you start doing things in the middle of the day when you're procrastinating that's when you start organizing your files and you're looking through your leads and you're ordering folders and doing stuff that you should be doing early in the morning or late at night versus in the daytime when we should be doing income producing activity, which is prospecting. That's the, you know, the number one income producing activity that we all need to do more of is prospecting because prospecting leads to making presentations and, and applications. So uh, what are the basics? Well, Jimmy, how many times can we say it? Um, you got to have people to talk to. It's, it's, you know, a gazillion times we've heard the saying, oh, this business, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It really is a, a numbers game. And the agents that, that lead in production are always the agents that have the highest number of people to talk to. They have more leads they're making they have a higher level of prospecting they have a higher level of production because they're making it just i guess it kind of makes common sense right jimmy if you if you got more people to talk to and you have a high level of prospecting it's kind of common sense that you'll probably have more presentations and more applications true no, Joe, I, I disagree. I think if you just sit at home uh, dreaming that somebody's going to call you or somehow find you, uh, you'll make more money that way. Yeah, with your fingers crossed. Yeah, no, obviously I agree, Joe. <laughs> you know, I'm just being sarcastic. I don't know. I don't know what it is with with, uh, you know, people that want to get into this industry that aren't willing to do what it takes to make the money. And you know, the first thing is you have to prospect. Now, you know, we've done previous uh, webinars, talked about different ways to prospect, but right. I mean, I'll, I'll just give you the, the, the short version, the best way to put money in your pocket in a quick manner, right? So like, you know, you can prospect a lot of different ways, but it's gonna take a lot of time. But if you want cash flow, the quickest way is to buy, direct mail leads. I mean, that is going to be the best thing to do. Uh, we have some different sources that you can order from, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, here's here, here's the thing. Really listen to this. Joe and I, we don't own a lead company. We don't sell leads. We don't make any profit from the leads. All the lead vendors that we use are third parties, right? So that's how important it is that we're telling you, if you don't have leads, either you know you're not going to have any cash flow in your business and you're not going to be in business very long or or you're just you know dreaming right you know you take this to the next level if this is a real business you need to have leads to work leads is what drives your business and i know this was last week's topic but but i did want to say this is that you know think about this if you're a business owner and uh, you you bought a uh, Chick-fil-A franchise and you want to go ahead and open up business, right? Uh, you got to have chicken, right? You got to have chicken to sell those sandwiches. Well, 
are you going to just place an order um and and then one time and then when you sell through that chicken uh gonna have to go, oh i need to go ahead and order some more chicken and wait for that to be delivered and then in the meantime you're having to shut down and then you're gonna you know sell through that order and then shut down until your next order comes in or are you gonna have a standing order that's recurring so that you have a constant flow of chicken so you never run out right of sandwiches to sell it's the same thing you know except our chicken is leads you have to be on a constant flow of leads if you don't have a constant flow of leads you don't have people to talk to every day and if this is your business you need to have people to talk to every day so i don't i don't know if you know you wanted me to expand on that joe but i mean you got to have people to talk to or you're not going to have anybody to to share your product with right right and i, I think the, the only thing i really want to expand on is that i think the the and i i you know i don't want the call to go negative and use the word like downfall but you know at the end of the day i i think too many people get into this business and they don't treat it like a business and they're so freaking scared to invest in leads um it, it this business just doesn't work without spending money on marketing and advertising and you think about there there's all you know at the end of the day all successful businesses were in debt initially so I'm just telling you, if you got to max out your credit card to purchase leads, that's what you got to do. That's what I did. I mean, I went into debt. I, I hawk drew. I told you guys this story. I sold guns. I sold a, a nice uh, Jeep that I had. I mean, I sold stuff and, and also used credit cards to, to get my leads going until I had that flow, constant flow of leads and then I could use the income. So initially, most agents are gonna have to go into debt to purchase leads and to have that flow coming in and then slowly get out of debt. It may take you, you know, a year or whatever, whatever it takes, but you're, in my opinion, I, you know, I think you're dreaming if you think you're gonna do this business and not invest in marketing and advertising if you think you're just going to go out and cold door knock or however you know make cold calls yeah you'll do it for 90 days and you'll get burned out and you're not making any money and you'll quit okay i've seen it a million times so um you got to have people to talk to man you got to invest carry appointments seems like common sense but i'm going to expand on carry appointments you guys know we have a lot of carriers man um if, and this is especially geared for not only the new people, but the agents that have been here for a while. Yes, you need carrier appointments. But my tip on carrier appointments is that you don't need to have 15 or 20, okay? You just need a handful. Really, you just need one. In order to get started, if, as long as you have one carrier appointment, you're really, you're you're good to go, as long as it's a major carriers it's a you know uh whoever transamerica mutual of omaha cvs Aetna, whoever whatever number you get in first um learn that product and and get going i think a lot of us jimmy need to forget about some carriers and really to uh sometimes when you have too many carriers it gets confusing and you feel like you got to know everything about every carrier I think for me anyway, when I had my best year in production, I really only sold with three carriers. I had my primary carrier, a backup carrier for the certain little niches. And then uh, at that time, Gerber was my guaranteed issue. That was like my go-to guaranteed issue company. And that was it, three carriers, primarily two, my primary and Gerber, and then had one secondary. So you need carrier appointments, um, if you're new and you're just getting start, started, and let's say you're applying to six different carriers, don't don't make the mistake of saying, oh, I need to have all six appointments before I get started. All you need is just, you need one appointment. Um, that's it. And you need to order some basic supplies. Hey, hey Joe. Uh, yes. Before you go to basic supplies, can I chime in real quick? Yeah, please do. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
I mean, two weeks ago, we had a, a webinar with Security National Life. And if you missed it, you need to go back and watch that. But they offer a, a, you know, a lead program that's based on your production. And so you can basically, you know, buy additional leads uh, using their lead credit. And I got to tell you, when, when I first started with Senior Solutions, we didn't have any kind of, you know, uh, uh, carrier that was offering lead credit based on production. Right. I didn't, I didn't have that. And I was on a, on a weekly order, I don't know, for several years. And, and I paid for that out of my own funds with no, you know, no, nothing was supplemented ever. I never had one single batch that was supplemented. And I got to tell you for you new carry for you new agents rather, or, you know, maybe you're not new, you know, but all active agents, if this is what you want to do, that would be my first choice. You know, I would go get contracted with Security National Life and I would throw every bit of business I could at them. You know, there's going to be some scenarios that maybe are not going to work with them based on health issues. But whatever you can, why not throw it at them and get that lead credit? I mean, that makes sense. So like if you're spending six hundred dollars a week, you know, and you get six hundred dollars of lead credit. You can double your order. Now you got. Twelve hundred dollars of leads for the same six hundred dollars that you spent, yeah. right? That, that's the way I would look at it. Um, another one that does a lead cre uh, lead credit is Liberty Bankers Life, um, but I got to tell you, I think the uh, the Security National is a superior program. And I wrote my first app yesterday with Security National, and you know, uh, it's really not that complicated, right? I mean, it's it's a pretty simple thing. I already got. Uh, on the phone, uh, there's not a phone interview. So I think this is key because most people don't want to have to go through a phone interview. Uh, they do a phone verification. So they basically just verify a couple of things like name, address, and bank information. And right, they but no health it. questions, right? They're not going no, through any health questions. No health questions. They just verifying certain things. They're verifying when it's going to start, all that good stuff. And that actually, like, is really good for the client you know and you're and, and and if you're like me sometimes you invert numbers or make a mistake sure. that could that could save you a you know a first payment you know uh coming back rejected because you inverted the number or something right you did, or maybe left the number off or whatever so they're validating all that information and uh and they give you the approval right there on the phone so i mean that call was probably like maybe five or six minutes and we're done and uh i mean i'm telling you like that's what I would do. If I, if I were you guys, you want to buy, you want to build your business, you want to buy leads, get the lead credit, get signed up with Security National Life and, and, and really, you know, give them as much business as you can and, and get more leads. It's all about leads, right? So why not get more for your more for your dollar? You can buy more leads with that lead credit, make more sales, put more money in your pocket. I mean, it's a no brainer, right? So don't get stuck on, you know, your favorite carrier you know be be able to make an adapt you know adaption right move over anyway i just thought i'd throw that in there awesome great great point man appreciate that um basic supplies man just you know make sure i mean basically all you need from the carriers or you don't even really need brochures uh but you know um in my opinion i mean paper apps the thing about it is is that all every carrier if you're going to do paper apps which is a great way to have as a, as a backup. You can always log into the back office and just print them yourself. You don't need to wait for them to come in. As far as brochures, um, yeah, they're nice to have. They're not that critical, to be honest with you. If you're using the Senior Solutions folder and the Senior Solutions final expense brochure, it's kind of all inclusive, uh, but certainly not a bad idea. The main thing with supplies is I really want to make sure you have the 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 Senior Solutions New Agent Starter Kit. You got your business cards, the folders, the presentation, your ID badge, uh, and then of course order you know some supplies from the carriers. Not a lot to to go into details with that one. Uh, understanding of the scripts, man. It doesn't need to be perfect. You know, you don't need to spend three weeks studying the scripts and getting it perfect. Um, I feel like 
the in-home presentation, I mean, it's not that difficult. You can get the majority of it down within a day. You can probably, if you really work at it hard and you, you, uh, you, you role play it, I would even recommend videotaping yourself. You can really knock it out and memorize it and internalize it within a day or two. It doesn't take three weeks to, to memorize this stuff. So, um, get get really good at the scripts the one thing that i have found at least with me anyway i know if if i really if i want to learn something if i totally immerse myself into something if i want to learn a product or if i'm trying to learn a new sales script and i just totally immerse myself in that and just keep rereading it rereading it memorizing you know two or three sentences uh, getting that down, then memorizing the two or three sentences more. Um, I mean, within about eight hours, I can pretty much memorize any type of of, of script. You just really, you, you really need to, I use the word immerse, but the one thing about learning, the one thing about learning scripts with most people is that the the longer you take to do it, the worse off you're going to be at it. Um, how can I explain this? In other words, let's say you're going to learn a script. Let's say you you let's say it's going to take to learn the in-home presentation. Hypothetically, let's just say it takes ten hours of study to memorize it. Okay, shouldn't take that long, but let's say hypothetically it takes ten hours. Well, if you only study the script fifteen minutes a day or ten minutes a day. It could, you may never learn it. You may never be able to learn it. Uh, it may take you months to be able to do it because you're spreading it out over a longer period of time. Um, the theory of condensing timetables, I think is what, what works here. It's kind of like prospecting. When you condense timetables, when you go at something at 100%, so anytime you're gonna learn a new sales script, man, just totally immerse yourself into that and you will learn it a lot faster um, versus spreading it out over two or three weeks. I'll give you an example. It's like um, when new agents are studying to become new agents, there are some agents that knock out the course in three days. There's other agents that it takes them three months to do it. The ones that are knocking it out in three days, those are ones that are spending uh, eight to 10 hours a day just doing nothing but studying the material. Then that's really what you got to do here is to be able to knock it out. Do it quick, man. Don't. It shouldn't take you three weeks to to learn the scripts. It should take you, you know, really a day, th less than three days. Um, product knowledge. Same thing about product knowledge, man. Read through the guides. The other thing about product knowledge is that you don't need to be an expert with every single product. Again. Focus your attention down just to a couple of carriers. Jimmy and I can really help you to determine which carriers are going to be preferable. Um, I usually recommend, you know, whatever whatever carrier, depending, but whatever carrier gives you th your production number the first. That's the one I that's the one I would worry about. And the carriers, a lot of them, they're really caught up now since with with COVID, and now that a lot of carriers were super busy towards the end of last year with Medicare SUP and agents getting contracted. All that's over now. So everything's really kind of back to normal. I know uh, CVS, Aetna, I mean, they're they're issuing writing numbers within three or four days or super, super quick. So you got to get that product knowledge down. And then lastly is just taking massive action. I think we all underestimate massive action. That's really the key to getting good at anything is devoting massive action towards that specific activity, whether it's learning your sales scripts, prospecting. Man, I, I, think, I think most people fail, not in this business, but in general, is because they don't put enough action into it and they don't stick with it long enough they they it's I, I don't know if it's human nature or what 
but people have a tendency to quit things too early. They expect instant results. And we talked about this last week, but very rarely do you have anyone that comes into this business who is an overnight success. It usually uh, takes time. And these are some of the, the, these are what we would consider to be the basics. And whether you're new or you've been here for 10 years is concentrate on the uh, basics. So Jimmy, before I move on, um, anything else you'd like to add or any, any, any comments on this particular section? Nope. Make sure you're still there. Oh, I think Jimmy might have lost his internet connection. Hang on one second. Let me scroll back to the J's. So muted and muted by the organizer. All right, Jimmy. I don't know how I muted you. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there you go. I was trying to send you a message to let you know I was muted. Yeah, I see you raised your hand. I don't I I I don't know how I muted you. I apologize. No worries. Um I I think you hit all of that, you know, perfect, Joe. Uh and, you know, massive action is the key, uh, especially, you know, when you're first getting started. Um, you just gotta keep going and going and going. And you know, you're gonna get rejected, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna lose cells. And the key is just to get up, wipe your, you know, pants off and, you know, go get the next one. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see what we have next. Um, sell cycle, you guys, if you've been with Senior Solutions, you've probably seen this before. Uh, this is the basic understanding, the basic sell cycle of not only our business, but really any business. Uh, if you look at the top, it all starts with marketing in advertising. So when we talked about basics and what are the basics, first thing we talked about was, is what? You gotta have people to talk to. That comes down to marketing and advertising. Um, direct mail leads is the main source of marketing and advertising, which creates into lead generation, prospecting. And then it's, it's the basic follow-up. It's following through with that prospecting, making sure that those applications are going through submission to commission, and then it's basically just, um, you know, repeating the uh, the process. And then this is my attempt of uh, of writing of writing on a screen. So I apologize the uh, the handwriting here. But we're going to be talking about the uh, the senior solution sell funnel, and then we're going to wrap it up. Maybe we'll see if anybody has any questions. But for sake of time, man, we'd like to um, you know get through this. I want everybody to. Um, if you if you got appointments to go to, get out there, get busy, have a uh, a great weekend with the, those special ladies, the moms in your in your life. But it all starts about with um, with you know at the top of the funnel, it all starts out with leads, and the more the more leads that you put into the funnel, in other words, the more people that you put in, more people you have to to talk to, is going to increase your chances of being able to make um, appointments, um, whether you're whether you're door knocking or you're 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 calling on the phone. I prefer door knocking. That's my number way number one way of of prospecting. The one thing I'll just add, and because I was out door knocking uh, yesterday for about a half a day, uh, set up some some great appointments. The 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 thing that I always love, Jimmy, about going out and door knocking is that I never have to worry about anybody no showing me, you know, because they're already there. You know, it's it's um to me it's like I don't know, it's like hunting. Or, you know, if you're gonna go out and 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 deer hunt, you know, you 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 don't make an appointment with the deer, you just show up, you know, and the deer comes into your 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 sights, you know, you draw back your arrow or your your if you're using a rifle put the deer into your scope, you pull the trigger, um, the deer's there, you're there, you're not booking an appointment for a later time. You know, it's like one shot, one kill, you know, you're, you're both there. That's the one thing I love about, um, 
about door knocking is I just feel like I the odds are in my the odds are in my favor and to me it's just like I don't know if it's satisfaction but it's just so satisfying to not have any appointments for the day and just go out and and create it and write three four five applications in one day uh just it's exhilarating so leads lead to appointments appointments lead to presentations okay now sometimes appointments and presentations are all one line especially if you're if you're out door knocking and you haven't set any preset appointments so those two actually come together is that you're 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 meeting the client you're you're booking an appointment for right then and there you're gaining access into the house you're making the presentations presentations lead to applications and nowadays with all the tools that we have and the instant decisions almost every carrier that we work with I think for the most part, you know, 90% of them, you're going to be able to get virtually an instant decision while you're there, which means our our placement rate should be really, really high. Um, that means you're getting your your income is more, you know, guaranteed. I know when I first got started in this business, uh, instant, I, I don't, there was no instant decision. The, you know, you. Um, in very few companies, I, I don't even remember ever doing an e-application. It was a, you know, it was a paper, you know, you take your paper application, you hope that you did a really good job of asking all the right questions, uh, the medications, and you hope, and you kept your fingers crossed that the client didn't forget about a medication or they were, you hope that they were truthful about their medications. And then you take that application, you bring it home and you, there was no scanning at that time. You put it in your fax machine, you fax it to the carrier, you know, and, you know, three or four, four days later, sometimes a week later, you know, you would get your decision, you know, and then if it was a bad decision, you know, then you got to go back out and meet with the client, you know, try to, you know, present it to another carrier, or maybe you have to write it up guaranteed issue. It just depends on what the reaction is. Now, with everything that we've got, the the process is so much simpler, especially with the um, the technology. And Jimmy mentioned earlier about getting a tablet. You know, having I think a tablet is is great because it's so thin, uh, a lot easier than trying to carry a, a a laptop out there. And your mobile device, most of the carriers, it's really hard. Most of them are not. A lot of them are not really that compatible with a mobile device to be able to some of them you can but sometimes you'll get glitches or whatever if you're trying to do an app from your cell phone so uh, the the tablets work very very well and then applications lead to uh, to income and the last thing we just want to wrap up is about the shortcut to success guys the only shortcut to success is honestly it's following a system and that's what we have here at Senior Solutions, is that we we have a true turnkey system, a proven system that is going to allow you to be a lot more successful versus trying to figure it out on your own. And the last thing we're going to end it with is a quote from uh, from Tony Robbins. He says the his quote is the path to success is to take massive, determined action and i like the fact that he put in the word determined because we always talk about massive action massive action massive action but that massive action needs to be determined or we could also replace that with massive income producing activity right jimmy because you may have yeah. someone's taking massive action but maybe it's the wrong massive action maybe they're taking massive action on organizing their office or uh, putting their leads in alphabetical order when the massive action should be prospecting so um jimmy i'll let you um i'll let you wrap up the call brother we're going to end here uh a few minutes uh early and let everybody get their their mother's day weekend started early thank you joe well you know guys uh I just want to say, you know, everything that we that we uh, teach, it's because we experienced it ourselves, and we really speak from a place of, 
you know, um, not only experience, but knowledge and that we know what, what doesn't work and what works. And Joe and I have recruited hundreds of agents over the years, and we see common denominators for both those that are successful and those that are not, right? And so like Joe said, we can pretty much predict uh, how long somebody's gonna stay in business based on you know, their, their actions or lack of actions. And so um, I'm just telling you, take this to heart. Uh, you know, if you really are determined that you wanna be a business owner, that you wanna be your own boss, these are the things that it takes to, to, to make it work, right? And, it, and if you're listening to this and you're thinking, you know what, I'm not willing to do that. Well, then this is not the right business for you. Maybe try another business or maybe go get a job and, and get a regular paycheck. Because if you're not gonna do what it takes, you're just gonna get frustrated. You're gonna put yourself in a really bad situation financially if you're not out there uh, working leads and just hoping eventually you're gonna run out of money and you're gonna run out of hope and you're gonna be in, in, in desperate dire straits, right? So I'm just telling you, you know, we, we speak uh, not only from experience, but from sincerity. And so with that, uh, let's have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And if uh, anybody on the call wants to talk with Joe or I, give us a call. We can, we can help you, consult you, and, and walk you through uh, areas that you might need help with. So take care. All right. Thank you, brother. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care.